Rosie Sanders has been represented by Jonathan Cooper for the last 20 years. She has done something slightly different. I've drawn a lot all my life, so not uh, graphite I've used a lot before, and Contiqua, the, the slightly experimental part was using the poppy oil, which gives you these really luscious blacks. And the graphite gives you the beautiful shades of very, very pale, almost white to the grades of grey. And this particular place, it's just off an old drover's track. I've changed it slightly because there is actually a fence here and I wanted to make this path lead your eye into the picture. And there's this lovely bit of land, sort of scrubby land behind. And the, when the sun's rising and coming through there, it gives this amazing brightness and then the trees are silhouetted against it. So I think the Conti crayon and the graphite and the poppy oil gives you the biggest range of tones really. Where did you find this new inspiration for Spirit of Place? Well, I've always lived among trees. I feel very passionate about trees. So even as a child I grew up in the Chiltern Hills and I've walked in this place for every day for about 15 years so I know it intimately and it just felt very necessary in some ways because we're losing our woodlands at such a rate and it felt important to make a statement about it. At this time of year you get the very low sun and the mist from the water and then you get the trees, bare trees silhouetted against the light and then there's a few just little leaves just hanging on on the bare branches which I particularly like. The light is slightly different in this drawing. Can you talk a little bit about it? Yeah, this is quite different because this is the autumn. And the thing I loved about this was the shadows of the leaves on the trunk of the tree. There's a whole line of these trees, these ancient beeches. And I love the, the sense it's like an elephant skin. So what was your inspiration to paint this painting? This was the first one I did actually. Um, and the inspiration for this, I, as you come out of the wood, you come into this broad field that runs alongside the river. And there was a very heavy dew that morning. And there was something, I just love these stripes that go across the grass. And it was, it's really about the shadows and this, the rather linear quality of it. This one is different. Uh, it is different from your other paintings. It is an oil on panel. Uh, have you used this technique before? Or? Yeah, this is quite new and I love it. I'm definitely going to do more. This is oil on gessoed panel and that's traditional gesso. And it's the most beautiful velvety surface to work on. It's really nice. And I love the scale because I've always loved macro photography. You, know, you take something tiny and blow it up to much larger scale and it's like being an ant or something. Seeing these artworks in the film will not give them a justice. You need to see them in the flesh to appreciate their quality. So we hope to see you soon in our London gallery to visit this wonderful exhibition. <laughs>